Are you trying to play Rust, but it keeps crashing on high populated servers, freezing during loading assets, or just stuttering overall? Don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'll be sharing some steps that you could try at home to hopefully get you back up and running in the game. You're gonna be able to reuse these steps for pretty much any game, so save this video, like it, comment, subscribe, that way you have it there and you, you know if you're ever having game crashes in the future, you can come back right to this video. Just to make things a little bit smoother, I've broken down this video into 11 easy sections. So if you already completed a step, you could just simply jump ahead to the next one. But before we jump into the video, I just quickly wanna talk about us here at Gamer Tech, what we do, what we specialize in. We build the best, the highest end, custom PCs tailored to your needs. Each PC is backed by our full coverage three-year warranty. This includes parts, labors, diagnostics, repairs, cleanings, and even upgrades. So if you or anyone you know is in the market for a new system, or you just want to trade in your old system, please feel free to check out our website at gamertech.ca, or you can even email us at info at gamertech.ca. So let's jump into the video. In section one, we're gonna be talking about updating your GPU drivers properly. First thing you should do, and honestly, this solves most problems in games, is just update your graphics drivers. A lot of players think that they're up to date, but they aren't running the latest game-ready driver. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, open up the NVIDIA app or GeForce Experience. Then you wanna to go to the Drivers tab and check for the newest game-ready driver. Install it, restart your PC, and then try launching the game again. For brand new titles, NVIDIA often releases a driver update the same week, sometimes even the same day to fix any crashing issues. If you're on AMD, open up the Adrenaline software, click Home, and then check for any updates. Install the newest recommended driver. AMD also pushes optional drivers that include fixes for new games, so sometimes choosing the optional one is the better move. And if you're dealing with heavy corruption issues like artifacting, flickering, textures, or just crashes on launch, you can run a clean driver install using DDU, also known as Display Driver Uninstaller. This wipes everything and gives you a fresh driver install. This usually fixes deep stability problems. Welcome to section number two. Let's discuss updating BIOS, chipset, and motherboard drivers. This one gets forgotten by almost every single person that comes in the shop with problems. Update your BIOS and your chipset drivers. Your motherboard controls communication between the CPU, RAM, GPU, and everything in your system. If the motherboard software is outdated, a AAA game can easily crash, freeze, or glitch. So here's what you're gonna do. Go to your motherboard manufacturer's website, Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, ASRock, and search for your exact model. We've made tons of different BIOS updating videos, so if you don't know how to do it, please watch one of our guides. You're going to want to download the latest BIOS version, the latest chipset drivers, and anything else under drivers that matches your hardware. If this sounds confusing, well, there's an easier way. You can use your motherboard's app instead. Asus uses Armory Crate or Driver Hub, MSI uses MSI Center, Gigabyte uses Gigabyte Control Center, and ASRock uses Live Update. Chipset drivers are extremely important because they tell your CPU and your RAM how to behave. If the chipset's outdated, you'll get random stutters, DX12 crashes, or frame pacing, or the game won't even launch. And BIOS updates fix pretty much any issue I've seen. It fixes 90% of the stuff that happens in game, crashes, blue screens, I've seen it all. Make sure you update your BIOS. All right, now let's move on to section number three, repairing game files and removing corrupted data. Another major cause of crashes is corrupted or incomplete game files. This is especially common if your PC shut down during an update, if you've paused a download, or if the servers were unstable during a patch. Every game launcher is a little bit differently, but the steps are pretty much the same. Let's assume you're using Steam. On Steam, you're going to want to right-click the game, go to Properties, then Installed Files, and hit Verify Integrity. On EA app or Origin, click the game, go to manage and choose repair. On Battle.net, click the game, hit the gear icon, and then choose scan and repair. It's pretty much the same process no matter what game launcher you're using. By doing this, you're able to replace any corrupted or missing files, and it restores everything to normal. This usually doesn't delete any of your settings, saves, or progress that you've made. It just simply fixes broken files. But I would recommend you back them up just in case. You've made it to section number four. Let's go ahead and discuss overlays and background apps. Overlays are one of the sneakiest and most consistent causes of game crashes. Overlays like Nvidia's in-game overlay, AMD overlay, Discord overlay, Steam overlay, Xbox game bar. There's just so many different overlays and sometimes one of them can be the culprit. These overlays hook into the graphics API, whether that's DirectX 11, DirectX 12, or 
Vulcan. And if a game's unstable, those hooks can cause freezing, black screens, or just instant crashes. Turn them off temporarily and test the game out. See if one of them maybe is the culprit. So go on Nvidia's app and disable the Nvidia overlay. Next, turn off Discord overlay and Discord settings, disable Steam overlay and game properties. If you have MSI Afterburner, close it and just disable it for now. Disable Xbox Game Bar if you have it. You'd be surprised how often disabling overlays instantly just fixes the issue. Now let's move on to section number five of the video where we're gonna run the game as admin and disable full screen optimizations. Some games need administrator access to, to write logs, shader data, and just setting files. Without it, they can hang or just crash. Right click on the game's exe files, go to properties, then compatibility. Run this program as administrator, check disable full screen optimizations, then click high DPI settings and turn off DPI override. It's a small little tweak that most people don't think about, but you know, honestly, it solved quite a few problems of black screens and alt tab issues for me. All right, let's jump on in to section number six, let's clear your shader cache and direct X cache. Corrupted shader cache is a huge reason why games like Battlefield, COD, or Fortnite crash or freeze during loading. Shader cache builds over time and helps improve performance, but if it becomes corrupt, you'll get random crashes. To clean it, open up disk cleanup on Windows and select direct X shader cache. Also, you can go to Nvidia's control panel, click manage 3D settings, scroll to shader cache size and hit clear. When you launch the game again, it'll rebuild shader cache and this can solve stutters, long load times, and crash loops. All right, moving on to section number seven. This may not apply to everyone, but make sure you reset overclocks and check RAM stability. Whether you're overclocking or using automatic settings, instability in the CPU, GPU, or RAM will always show up first in games, long before it shows up in benchmarks. If you're overclocking your GPU, return it to stock settings. If your CPU has all-core overclock or PBO settings, return them to default. Also, if your RAM running XMP or Expo, just turn it off temporarily to see if that helps fix your problem. And to be honest, RAM instability is actually one of the biggest causes of crashes, especially in new games. Many players don't realize that their memory kit is only stable in synthetic benchmarks, but not actually in gameplay. All right, so let's dive into section eight, test your hardware thoroughly. Sometimes game crashes aren't caused by the game, they're caused by your PC. Here's what I personally use here at Gamertech to diagnose issues. For the CPU and the RAM stability, I like to run Prime95 and use the blend test. If it errors out within the first 10 to 20 minutes, you have either unstable RAM or an unstable CPU. If it passes for an hour, your CPU and memory are typically pretty solid. For GPU testing, I usually like to use Heaven Benchmark or even Firmark. You don't have to run Firmark for too long, just even a minute or two, it'll tell you if your GPU has any instability issues. For storage, I like to use Crystal Disk Info and Crystal Disk Mark to check drive health and just stability to see what it's performing. If you see any warnings or if the drive is too hot or if it's an old HDD, that alone can cause crashes. Use Crystal Disk Mark to test the read and write speeds. If your SSD is failing or extremely slow, the game will stutter, freeze, or crash on load. Also, make sure to monitor your temperatures using HW Monitor. I've made videos on every single one of these stress tests from downloading it, how to use it, so please check out some of our other videos, hit the subscribe button, you know, hit the like button too if you can, but check out some of our other videos. I'm sure you're gonna find all this good information there. If your CPU is slamming to 95 degrees constantly or your GPU is throttling over 85 Celsius, that can that can cause crashes. Welcome to section nine, and thank you so much for sticking around this far. Let's talk about config files and resetting your user settings. Sometimes your game's configuration files can get corrupted, especially after big patches. Go to documents, find the folder for your game, and remove or rename the config folder. When your game launches again, it creates a brand new setting. I'm not saying this will work for everyone, but it does fix some crashes, especially after updates. Moving on to section number 10, let's reinstall the game properly. If none of the earlier steps work, just reinstall the game. I know it's going to take some time, it's annoying, but give it a shot. But before you do this, don't just reinstall it on top of the old files. Fully delete the game folder, clear out leftover config files, and install it fresh 
Ideally, you want it on an SSD or preferably an NVMe drive. Games installed on HDDs used to work fine, but I've been seeing a lot of times now that if you're installing it on an HDD, HDDs can't really keep up with modern game shaders, loading texture streaming, just like they used to in the past. We've finally made it to section number 11, the last steps, where we're covering all the advanced fixes. Here's some advanced solutions that fix trickier crash issues. Update windows. Include optional updates. These optional updates updates often contain CPU microcode patches or DirectX stability updates. Try switching your graphics API. If you're on DirectX 12 and the game is crashing, try DirectX 11. If Vulkan's available, just test that one too. Some games run perfectly on one API and just terribly on the other. Disable HDR. If you're having weird flickering, black screens, or crashes related to your monitor, turn off resizable bar if you're using an older GPU or if the game is known to have issues with it. Make sure your PSU is strong enough. If you have a high GPU like a 4080, 4090, 5090, any really high-end card, cheap power supplies can easily cause crashes under load. Disable IPv6 in your network adapter settings if the game has multiplayer connection crashes. And finally, reset your BIOS to factory default settings if you've been tweaking a lot of different settings in it. Sometimes a single unstable BIOS option or something that you don't even notice can cause these instability issues. And that's it. These are the most effective ways for fixing crashes, freezes, and launch issues in-game. Like I said earlier, these steps work for pretty much any modern game. So if you're having problems with COD, Fortnite, Apex, Valorant, Battlefield, or pretty much any game, come back to this video. Make sure you give it a like so you can remember where it is or subscribe to our channel if you want to watch more videos on how to update your BIOS, how to fix any PC problems, hit the subscribe button. If you're still having issues, leave a comment. I usually try my best to respond to everybody and help you with your PC fixes. Also, if you want, if you live in the area, bring your PC down by our shop. We offer PC repairs, diagnostics, and if you want to trade it in, we also offer some really nice high-end custom builds. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.